Welcome everyone. This is a special observability clinic because a couple of days ago, I read the blog from Miku uh, running the open telemetry demo application with Dynatrace. And I thought I invite him to walk us through this great blog post, great stuff, but some people just like to watch videos. So Miku, Miku, thank you so much for doing this um, recording. And I would like to ask you, first of all, who are you? Yeah, I'm Mikko Viitanen, working as a, as a product manager at Dynatrace and, and have been uh, quite actively involved in the development of this, this demo app. Perfect. And can you tell us what is this demo app all about? Who developed it? Uh, who is it for, especially? Kind of what use cases? And uh, yeah, fill us in. All right. So the, the, the demo app is kind of a semi-realistic e-commerce application, which is based on the on an old demo app by Google, but now it changes. So what we did was that we added open telemetry instrumentation to each service, and we also rewrote a number of services to be able to cover all open telemetry supported languages. Mm. And the demo app, it's maintained by the, by the open telemetry project and it supports both Docker and Kubernetes environments, and, and it will include all telemetry signals. So currently we have distributed tracing more or less ready, and metrics is implemented for some services, and then locks are not yet there, but but we will implement those in the, I would say, in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. So this is really great for everybody that is interested in seeing open telemetry in action across multiple different technologies in, as you said, a semi-realistic application. Uh, would you have an overview of the application from an architectural perspective? Because I think there's a lot of moving pieces, actually. It's not just your regular two-tier app, but it's really, yeah, nice. Yeah, so I'm in the, in the main GitHub page of the demo app. And yes, there we have the, the architecture picture showing, actually, I think it's around 15 different services and and it's actually 10 different uh, programming languages now for it's all supported by by open telemetry mm -hmm. cool and i know you wrote a great blog post where it's really easy to follow the steps through in installing the app instrumenting it and getting the data into dynatrace but i would like to challenge you now can you just show me that this really just works as you have highlighted in your blog post can you walk us through it yes absolutely so I could first uh, start with um, this kind of rough picture of the demo setup. So the mm -hmm. demo application here on the left, it's sending telemetry to the open telemetry collector. The collector is kind of collecting the data from these around 15 services. And, and now what we are doing, I'm configuring the collector to send both traces and metrics to Dynatrace. Mm -hmm. And this is the this is the high level view, mm -hmm. and I think yeah. Then we can look at then the then the actual steps needed to yeah. to make it happen. So here we have have so I've done actually some preparation already in my environment, but I will anyway walk through what is needed mm -hmm. here. So in step one, you basically download the application by a by a Git clone and then go to the demo directory. And then in step two, uh, here we create the file now passing through a couple of environment variables. And these are needed to store the URLs and and also the needed token basically to access your environment. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll use basically these variables to uh, avoid writing the data directly to the to yeah. the config file but then we go to the second part here of the step two so so here we need to update the open telemetry collectors configuration mm -hmm. and i'm adding a configuration to send telemetry data to to dynatrace and uh, so we have one exporter for traces and one for metrics. And then, then I add processors and pipelines as shown, shown here. And that's about the collector configuration then. Mm -hmm. Cool. And after that one, then 
we need to set up the environment variables and this is done in the command line and this one I actually did so here is the kind of own Dynatrace API token mm -hmm. and the URLs for the environment and uh, yeah then I think I can start the start the demo let's yeah. see perfect and I it's so easy it's really nice because you're just using uh, docker compose that means you have a docker compose file that is launching all of the different components that are necessary and then you're just configuring the collector to send the data to the Dynatrace backend i mean it's an open telemetry demo app so you could obviously send it to any type of of backend that can ingest open telemetry traces and metrics but in our case obviously it's Dynatrace. Um, that means it's now launching the app it's launching the collect the open telemetry collector and you configure the app to send the data to that collector and then the collector sends the data to Dynatrace. yeah absolutely and maybe to quickly show that yeah what kind of services we are we are having so we have exactly the services shown in the architecture picture number of services and and here we have actually also other backends ongoing like the Jaeger and mm -hmm. Grafana and Prometheus but but I would I configured kind of the Dynatrace then next to the default mm -hmm. default backends and I think we can take a look at then the then the application itself so let's see yeah mm -hmm. now it's up and running here and uh, yeah the app is about uh, about kind of different products different telescopes so let's see how it works i click one and i can add a couple of items to the basket and then it recommends some other products and i add also a second product to the basket and then I just uh, place the order and yeah, that's mm -hmm. about it. So, so now, now it went through the whole app, all the services and, mm -hmm. and basically I can now go to Dynatrace environment here and let's look at the, look at the traces first. So if I, yeah, open the distributed traces. I can see that yes, a couple of traces already landed to, to mm -hmm. Dynatrace. And and then we can I will filter with one service name. Let's put here checkout. That's awesome. Yeah. And that's also great for those people that haven't seen this, right? Dynatrace has obviously been always built on top of distributed traces. We call this a pure path. Uh, we have this technology, but now distributed traces from open telemetry are just as a uh, first class citizen as our pure paths have always been. And the great entry point is the distributed traces view here that shows you all the distributed traces in case you want to start your analytics and your diagnostics from an individual trace. And then you can filter on all of the, I guess, the metadata that we have on the traces. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And I will open one of these traces just to see that ah, yeah mm -hmm. the trace That's is awesome. visible and it's actually quite a quite a large trace going through here it goes from the start from the load generator to front end and to checkout service mm -hmm. goes to a cart service and it it continues and uh, then to the currency service shipping service and to get the quote mm -hmm. for the shipping and and then do the email service mm -hmm. and the payment service. So it's actually it's a quite a, quite a big application mm -hmm. in that yeah. sense. Even though yeah. you can easily run it in the Docker and with only only like less than four gigs of RAM. Yeah. But, hey, yeah. But I also see and I like this uh, with any demo app. It's great if there's some load generator also. So that means as part of the deployment, you also have a little load generator script. That is generating load, but it itself is also instrumented. That means we can actually see the traces starting from the load generator. That's also really nice. Yeah. And then we can also look at metrics here. So, yeah, the demo app also sends metrics. And, and for example, this one, the app mm -hmm. uh, underscore recommendations counter. So this one is 
is giving the number of recommendations the application is me yeah. making and we can we can also get access to to metrics here and there are other metrics as well but but here we are in the rather in the beginning so we don't have too many application metrics implemented yet but, yeah. but more is being worked on yeah, but, but this is also great. That means we are not only capturing the traces and then by default, we get metrics like the response time, the failure rates, because this is stuff that Dynatrace does out of the box anyway. But now here, you show me also uh, specific metrics that have been exposed by the app developers themselves using open telemetry metrics. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. So this was, this was the demo part. And yeah. Can okay, you do me a favor? Sure. Can you just quickly highlight again the GitHub repository? Maybe if you open up the second tab as a reminder. Yes. It's if... this one here. So, yeah. yeah. I will make sure to post it uh, in the link where I post the video. And then the last thing is, if you do me another favor, click on your first tab with the blog. That would be great. So this is the blog running the open telemetry demo application with Dynatrace. And I think in that blog, you also explain again, if you want to run this app with Dynatrace, here are the environment variables that you need to set with the token, with the endpoints. It explains basically everything that you've just shown me in a matter of a couple of minutes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. See, that it's was easy. easy. That was yep. easy. That was really easy. <laughs> I really like it. Hey, Miko, thank you so much for this. Uh, this is kind of like bringing blog posts to life. And um with this, I want to say thanks. Bye-bye. See you the yes. next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.